Hello everyone and welcome to your pick a card reading on what do men find intimidating about you? For this pick a card I'd like you to take a few deep breaths before picking one par free reading and once you're ready please pick a par. So for par 1 we have the sodalite, par 2 the magnesite or par 3 jasper. Hello par 1 and welcome to your pick a card reading on what do men find intimidating about you? So right off the bat, part one, men are intimidated by your self-assurance, your confidence, your esteem. They view you as someone with high values, high morals. They see you as this goddess, this priestess, someone who is aware of their own beauty, light and abilities. They also feel like you've undergone drastic changes in your life. Even heartbreak, betrayal, which has taught you a lot about situations, people and who you are. They are also intimidated by you because you're able to see through situations, people. You're able to cut through illusions and deception. With the priest card, they feel like you're quite spiritual or religious, but there's something about you that is very knowledgeable and tapped in. So they feel like you are very perceptive, intuitive as well. And through your strong intuition and powers of perception, observation, and awareness, they feel like you are a good judge of character. You're able to tell when people are lying to you and you're able to get to the truth of matters which they find highly intimidating. With the magician and the mirror card, you may mirror back to men parts of themselves which they deny or try and hide. So this, in effect, is very intimidating to them because you shine light on things which need to be worked on, owned or healed. So when men are in your presence, par one, they're not able to hide, masquerade. It's like you bring out the truth. Men are also intimidated by you because they see you as someone who is constantly changing changing your ways, changing structures and for some of you, you may even change your dress sense quite a lot which they find quite intimidating because they never know what they're going to get. They feel like you're always trying to level up, elevate. With this three of swords, some men feel like you may break their heart. Your expectations, your standards may be too high for them. They feel like you have many options. You may easily just up and leave them. With this judgement card, I feel like men are also intimidated by you because you're assertive. You may call them up on bad behaviour, bad habits. So part one, men are intimidated by you for many reasons. They see you as being self-sufficient, aware, tapped in, very perceptive and quite cutting when you need to be. They see you as someone who has worked on your self-esteem and you're someone who is self-empowered. And it also feels like you empower others. With this Knight of Pentacles, they feel like you're someone who can set your own path. You're someone who can work towards solid foundations, build on your self-worth and your wealth. So they see you as someone who is very abundant, very prosperous. 
for some of you, I'm picking up that you may have such high values, morals, beliefs, that men are intimidated by you because they can't get you to change your point of view, or they may find you quite rigid or fixed in some way. I'm also picking up that the men who are intimidated by you are the ones who don't like change. The ones that don't like to be outshone by a woman. The ones that like to wear the trousers are mostly intimidated by you. Some men see you as an alpha female, highly driven, a go-getter, determined, and they are threatened by these qualities. I'm also picking up that some men are intimidated by your sacred, sacral energy force, your sexual energy, the energy you exude outwards. Men also view you as someone who is highly attractive, physically as well as energetically. There's something about you that is very regal, powerful, commanding. They feel like you're someone who won't be afraid to cut people out if it's not serving you. Men also feel intimidated by your creativity, the way you're able to find solutions, the way you're able to create your own reality, do things on your term. They also feel like your energy is very magnetic, magical. And there's something about you that is quite mystical, which they find quite intimidating. It's not something they're used to. So your energy could be quite intimidating to certain men, especially men who don't like not knowing the unknown, especially men who need to have logical reasoning. Men also find your high standards quite intimidating. They feel like you're someone who could nitpick at them. You may point out their flaws. You may have very high standards which they can't meet. And for some of you, men feel like you could be quite preachy at times and know it all, which they find quite intimidating. Men also feel like you expect the best in life. You expect the best from people, the best quality performance, which puts them under a lot of pressure. So part one, men are intimidated by you because they see you as someone who is confident in your own shell, confident with who you are, and they see you as someone who is unstoppable, someone who will not give up on what is meaningful to you. So part one, I think that's all I have for you for today's reading on why do men find you intimidating. I hope you found this reading enjoyable and if you did, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to your channel for more video uploads and thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Hello part 2 and welcome to your pick a card reading on why do men find you intimidating. So right after the bat part 2, men find your high vivid imagination intimidating. They see you as someone who is highly creative, highly energetic. They feel like you have an abundance of energy about you. With this adversity card, they feel like you could be quite a challenge. You may be someone who don't like to be told what to do. You may like to do things on your own terms. But there's something about you which men find quite 
intimidating in a way that they're not able to shift your viewpoint or shift your way of thinking. Men also find the way that you're focused. You may have tunnel vision once you made your mind up on something or once you focus your mind on something they're not able to get your attention. So they find this quality quite intimidating. With the artist card and the nine of swords, they feel like you're an artist at heart. The way you live your life, the way you express yourself is very artistic. Some of you may even use your difficulties your wounds as a stepping stone to help others or perhaps you use your pain your wounds as an outlet to create beautiful works of art it's like you are very expressive with your emotions you may have a depth of emotions which men find quite intimidating They find your sensitivities, your depth of emotions to be quite intense. With this world card, they see you as being hungry, hungry to achieve your goals, your dreams. So this in itself is quite an intimidating trait to certain men, especially men who don't know what they want in life, or they're not self-aware or self assured. Some men are scared, triggered by your shadow part two. They see you as someone who is quite in your emotions and they feel like you could be quite overwhelming with how you feel, your expressions. With this Eight of Cups, men are threatened, intimidated by the way that you're able to walk away from certain situations. They feel like you're quite a free spirit, that you could easily up and leave. Or perhaps you're someone who's always looking to grow, or you're looking for the next experience, the next high So part two, men see you as someone who could be quite vulnerable, but at the same time, they feel like you could challenge them. Perhaps you may challenge their views or their outlook of life. There's something rebellious about you, which men find quite intense, intimidating. You may challenge men on their preferences, their opinions, their views. I'm also picking up that some of you are quite controversial. This could be through the way you express yourself. This could be through your work, your artwork, your craft. But there's something about you that pushes the norm. It pushes this status quo which men find quite intimidating. Provoking is the energy that's coming through. So perhaps you provoke people or you evoke certain emotions which people may not be comfortable with. I'm also picking up with this take a break card that men feel like you could be quite hyper, hyperactive, hypersensitive. And there's something that is very hyper about you, which they find quite intimidating, too intense. Okay, it's just come through. And some men feel like they would need to be quite creative to be with you or to be friends with you. They feel like you're very free spirited, you like change, you like newness. 
So to be in your company, they would have to come up with interesting ideas to keep you interested, which they find quite intimidating. So part two, men are intimidated by your high intense energies. You could be someone who holds a lot of intense nervous energies. They're also intimidated by your creativity, your energy levels. They feel like you could be quite provocative, quite challenging in a way. You may be someone who doesn't follow society's norms, which they find quite different and scary. I'm also getting that some men are intimidated by your feminine energies, the way that you're not afraid to be vulnerable, the way that you're not afraid to speak out about certain things which could be quite taboo or things that are quite deep and quite overwhelming. So part two, I think that's all I have for you for your reading on why do men find you intimidating. I hope you've enjoyed today's reading and if you have, please ensure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more video uploads and thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. Hello part three and welcome to your pick a card reading on why do men find you intimidating. So right off the bat part three, Men find your courageous nature to be quite intimidating. They see you as someone who knows themselves very well. They see you as someone who trusts your own path, your destiny. They see you as someone who is a justice seeker, someone who wants to balance out the scales. They see you as someone who is highly compassionate and wanting to do good in the world. Men also find your high judgement to be quite intimidating. They see you as someone who wants things in a certain manner, a certain way. Perhaps you have dreams of wanting a family, wanting a business, but there's something very ambitious about you, which men find intimidating. Perhaps your ambitions intimidate them. I'm also picking up that some of you have had to learn to be independent and stand your ground. So now you're in a position of knowing what you deserve and what you want. Some men feel like you're well-travelled, cultured, well-versed with matters of the world, which can be quite intimidating to them. With the blossoming abundance and the Ace of Wands, they feel like you're someone who is very abundant. They feel like you are very connected to your intuition, to your inner core. For some of you, men view you as someone who is highly creative, highly passionate and driven. And some men feel like you could do certain things with your eyes closed. You make it effortless or you make it look easy, which they find quite intimidating. With the Avenger card, it feels like you're a group of people who like to keep learning and growing. You may be a certain way at one stage of your life and then you may elevate and become someone different. There's something about your views changing as you grow. So with men who like to stay fixed, this quality is quite intimidating to them.
Men are also intimidated by your open view of the world, your open-mindedness. And I feel like some men are threatened by your inner light, the light that you radiate outwards. It feels like you are your own superhero of your own life. You've learnt that you're not a victim, so you're taking the lead You've been your own superhero, which they find quite intimidating. Men also find your protective nature quite intimidating. You may be someone who is overly protective of those you care for. You don't take fools lightly. And when someone hurts someone that you care for, they feel like you could easily be up on the defence, on the attack. Because you're not someone who would just take injustice, you're someone who would fight back. So par three, men find your courageous nature to be very intimidating. You're not someone who's afraid to stand tall and fight for your rights or fight for the rights of others. They see you as a fighter, they see you as someone who will keep going no matter what. Your resilience and your determination could scare certain men. And for some of you, your ideals, your dreams of a family unit could be quite intimidating to some men. You may have a set idea of what family should look like. I'm also picking up that men are threatened by your world view, the way you want change, the way you like change to happen. With this Blossom in Abundance card, men are also intimidated by your connection with yourself, your connection with the universe. There's something very deep and wise about you. You may be someone who's more aware, more tapped in than others, which men find intimidating. I'm also picking up that your intellect, your intelligence, can be quite scary to some men. Your fighter spirit could be quite challenging to some. Especially to men who want to take on the role of being the protector. So par three, your natural light, your bravery, your courageous nature, the way that you want to bring goodness into the world is quite intimidating to some men. Also your idea of what a family unit, healthy family unit should look like can be quite scary or intense for some. I'm also picking up that some of you are so unique that men don't know how to take you. They don't quite understand your reality. So par three, I think that's all I have for you for your reading on Why Do Men Find You Intimidating? I hope you've enjoyed today's reading and if you have, Please ensure to like, share and subscribe to your channel for more video uploads. And thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.